And with these triple digit temps, finding ways to uh, cool off this week, you know, that's going to be key. There's quite a few places right here in the Treasure Valley that can help you get through this heat. KBOY2's Lauren Clark joins us now in Meridian to show us one way to stay cool with a splash. Lauren. Hey, Brian and Kelsey. Um, I'm from Arizona, so I'm no stranger to these really, really hot temperatures, but even I have to admit that the Treasure Valley is getting pretty toasty this time of year. But the folks here at Roaring Springs have found a way using thousands of gallons of water to help keep you cool, and they're also looking out for their employees who work here to be safe from the sun. Have fun, scream loud. Oh, here we go. When it torches up in the Treasure Valley, these kids know how to keep cool one splash at a time. I went on the tube slide two times. It's the perfect way to beat climbing triple digits. It's hot today. Yeah. It's, it feels hotter than normal. And that can take a toll on some who make sure that you have some fun in the sun. Hey, Amy. Do you need anything? I just get in really quick. Absolutely. That's Jaslyn. And as head lifeguard, she's making sure each employee has a chance to grab a sip of water to make sure they don't get overheated. Um, People get really hot and it's hot just walking around checking up on them. And even if that means a dip in the pool themselves, it's a way to make sure they're cool enough to watch over each squealing guest. Now, here are some other tips to make sure that you're safe out there while in these really hot temperatures. The first is to make sure to keep on applying sunscreen and reapplying it every hour or so to make sure that it works best. The other is to drink at least 48 ounces of water each day. Doctors say that'll help you beat those summer rays. Live in Meridian, Lauren Clark, KBOI 2 News. All right, good advice. Thank you, Lauren, for that live report. And with the temperatures hitting triple and near triple digits throughout the week, it's important to stay safe outdoors. Part of that includes knowing the signs of heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. Yep, so take a look at this diagram released by the National Weather Service. Signs you have heat exhaustion. You may feel faint or dizzy, have excessive sweating, and have cool, clammy skin. Now, if that happens, get to cooler air quickly, drink water, or take a cold shower. And if you're experiencing heat stroke, you'll have a throbbing headache, won't sweat, and may lose consciousness. In that situation, paramedics should be called.